internet land, my name is Tim and welcome to Red Band Review. Happy Halloween everybody and tonight will be the final entry to 31 Days of Horror 2016 and I figured we would end it off with a bang. Not only one of the most beloved horror movies of all time, but one of my most beloved horror movies of all time. No October 31st is complete without a viewing of 1978 John Carpenter's Halloween. Halloween night. A small American town. Fifteen years ago. Michael? I spent eight years trying to reach him, and then another seven trying to keep him locked up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. I think he'll come back. Exploring uncharted territory. And totally charted. Just Sure, sure. The only reason she babysits is to have Halloween. <laughs> okay, lady. Come on out. So this one starts off on Halloween night, 1963, in Haddonfield, Illinois, where a six-year-old Mike Myers brutally stabs to death his older sister Judith while wearing a clown outfit. Then 15 years later, on October 30th, 1978, while being released from an insane asylum known as Smith's Grove Sanitarium, Mike Myers escapes in the car that was meant to take him to his court hearing that would sentence him to life in prison. While escaping, Michael kills a mechanic and steals his outfit, then steals a Halloween mask from a local store. Then the next day, Halloween, Michael then stalks high school student Lori Strode as she and Tommy Doyle drop off a key to Michael's old house because Lori's father is in the process of trying to sell it. Later on, Lori meets up with Annie Brackett and Linda, and Lori can't shake the feeling that she is being followed, and her friends just dismiss it as her being overly paranoid. And that is when we meet Michael's psychiatrist, Dr. Sam Loomis. Anticipating Michael's return home, meets with Annie's father, Sheriff Lee Brackett, and watches Michael's house, believing eventually he will show up there. When Annie's boyfriend Paul calls her to come pick him up, she takes Lindsay Wallace, 
who she's babysitting, to the Doyle house to spend the night with Lori and Tommy. After Annie gets into the car, Michael strangles her and slits her throat. While playing hide and seek with Lindsay, Tommy then spots out the window Michael carrying Annie's body into the Wallace house, believing that he is seeing the boogeyman and tries to tell a very skeptical Lori what he saw. Later, Linda and her boyfriend Bob enter the Wallace house to have some uh, uh, alone time. Afterwards, Bob goes downstairs and gets ambushed by Michael, being stabbed and held into the wall. Just like it was, it was so cool. It was, it was so cool. Michael then poses as Bob in a ghost costume and confronts Linda, who teases him, but to no effect. Annoyed, she calls Lori. Just as Lori answers the phone, Michael then strangles Linda with a telephone cord. Meanwhile, Loomis then discovers the car that was stolen by Michael in his escape, and that concrete evidence gives Loomis all he needs to believe that Michael is in Haddonfield. Becoming suspicious, Laura goes over to the Wallace house and finds her friends dead in the upstairs bedroom. Michael suddenly appears and slashes her arm. Barely escaping, she retreats to the Doyle house where Tommy lets her in before she tells him to hide upstairs with Lindsay. Michael then gets in through an open window and then attacks Lori. She then stabs him in the neck with a sewing needle. Lori then goes upstairs to tell Tommy and Lindsay she killed the boogeyman. Tommy says, you can't kill the boogeyman, just as Michael appears behind her. Lori then hides in a bedroom closet. Michael destroys the closet door to get her, but then she undoes a metal clothes hanger and stabs him right in the eye. He drops his knife and she stabs him with it, and when he collapses again, Lori exits the closet and asks the children to go to a neighbor's house and have them call the police. As they leave, Michael then gets up again. Luma sees Tommy and Lindsay flee the house and then goes inside to find Michael attacking Lori upstairs. Lori pulls off Michael's mask and he stops attacking her to reapply it. After doing this, Loomis then shoots Michael six times, sending him off the balcony. Lori, in shock, concludes that it was the boogeyman. And Loomis replies, as a matter of fact, it was. Loomis looks down over the balcony and sees... Michael is gone. So I have a lot to say about this movie, and I'm going to try to keep it to basic point form as much as possible, because I could talk for hours and hours about this movie. I'm not going to lie to you when I say that Halloween is one of my favorite movies of all time. And there's a lot of different factors that go into it being one of my favorite movies. First and foremost, the cast. I feel that everyone that was casted in this film did fantastic and they were perfect for their roles. Donald Pleasance as Dr. Sam Loomis brought a experience, a weight to every scene that he was in. There was always a sense of urgency and dread as he delivered the dialogue, but then at the same time he could have a little fun with it, with the scene where the kids were going up to the house and he was like, get the fuck away from there, from the bushes. That was, it was, it was a good little moment. I also adored Jamie Lee Curtis in her role as Laurie Strode. As a first comer, this was her first movie that she ever did, and I found that it was very touching that John Carpenter really wanted her on the project, not only because of her acting abilities, but her family lineage as well. He saw it as a very touching tribute to Jamie Lee Curtis's mother, Janet Lee, from the movie Psycho. Because of its low budget, which was around 300000 a lot of the wardrobes and props had to be actual found items or uh, brought in from, you know, the um, team's home. In particular, the very iconic mask of Mike Myers was actually just a Halloween mask of William Shatner as Captain Kirk painted white and the eyes enlarged with the hair kind of messed up. The film budget also dictated the film location and time schedule of the movie. Halloween was shot in just 20 days in the spring of 1978 in South Pasadena, California. 
The crew had difficulty finding pumpkins in the spring and artificial fall leaves had to be reused in multiple scenes and a lot of the local families dressed their children up in Halloween costumes to pose as children trick-or-treating. Another cool thing that I found out recently is that John Carpenter approached veteran actors Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee for the possible role of Dr. Sam Loomis. And then Christopher Lee, before he passed away, revealed that he once talked to John Carpenter, stating that it was one of his biggest career regrets not taking the role of Dr. Sam Loomis. Another reason why I feel that this movie is amazing is its iconic soundtrack, which was written and composed by John Carpenter himself. And it took John Carpenter only three days to score the entire film. So I'm going to rate this movie a four and a half out of five Garys. It is one of my favorite films one of my favorite horror films and it is a staple of my Halloween experience every year since I was a small child. So thank you so much for listening to my thoughts and opinions on 1978 John Carpenter's Halloween. If you have not seen this movie, what the hell are you doing? Like this is, this is such an iconic horror movie you need to go see it go go see it right now you go go see it right now i'll wait and when you're done checking out that make sure to jump back over here and check out the rest of our videos we do have quite a few of them and we're going to keep doing this as long as possible because we love to do it and while you are still on the internets make sure to jump over to our official store www.society6.com slash misunderstood art company it is the official home of geeks speak apparel and dead girl superstar and if you'd like to hear even more content make sure to check out the podcast that i am part of along with horror aficionados adam and david miles it is called they cast from the coast and you can find all three of the links below you can listen to it on itunes google play and here on youtube and as always make sure to like subscribe and leave a comment below Happy Halloween!